Okay, we are on. So this blueprint guide today is going to be all about lead generation. And lead generation is probably the one thing that most people that I coach struggle with. And um, uh, if done correctly, you should have more leads than you know what to do with. So that's what we're going to get into today. And uh, I've got some good suggestions for you at the end of this video as well. Uh, if you want a little bit more in-depth uh, training for a really, really low investment from a couple of my mentors, it's unbelievable. So um, let's get into it. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, so here we go. And this is going to be the organic lead generation guide. So first off, what is organic lead generation? Organic marketing or organic lead generation, anything about organic just means that you're not paying money in order to receive those leads. There's a lot of ways to get leads. You can do ads. There's Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads. Everybody's selling ads for you to get in front of potential leads. Um, organic just means that you're out there doing the work yourself or your team is doing the work for you and you're bringing those people into your circle so that the leads are standing in front of you and you're presenting it and you haven't really paid money uh, like that you're doing it organically so number one rule is know who you're selling to you have to know who your potential buyers are um, this doesn't mean like thinking of women named Joanne with, you know, two kids who are working a job. And it's not knowing them that way, but it's knowing what pains they're dealing with, what they're needing, how they're feeling. Um, might be like geography, where they live. Um, because like if you're trying to sell snow shovels, to people in Phoenix, it's not gonna do you any good. You're not gonna sell very many of them. Um, but if you're selling snow shovels to, guess what I'm dealing with nowadays, uh, you, people in Wyoming, then you might be able to sell them at double the cost, <laughs> like no kidding. So know the people that you're selling to in our world, a lot of times you'll hear that referred to as your avatar. It doesn't mean the little blue alien that you're pretending to be when you go online and play video games, but uh, it's actually just the, the ideal persona of the person that you're trying to sell to. Another way to get real good organic leads is to add people to your profile. This is one of the reasons that Facebook is the most powerful platform to do affiliate marketing on or coaching or consulting is because you can control who your audience is. The people in your friends list is your audience. And so you get to control that by adding who you want, booting off who you don't want, and that's a very, very powerful thing. Another thing that's really important is always posting content of value. Going back to who is your avatar, knowing them, you can write content that appeals to this person. And that's one really, really powerful way of getting authority and credibility and it leads into number four, which is the know, like, and trust factor. You want your audience to know you, to like you, and to trust you, because then they're a lot more likely to buy from you. And if you throw an offer out 
and you say, hey, this is my awesome program and it costs $2,000, jump on there and buy. If they don't know you, they're gonna be like, ah, what does this program do? And you know, that's a lot of money. If they don't like you, they're not even gonna think twice about it. They're just gonna be like, no, like I'm not gonna give this jerk $2,000. And if they do not trust you, it's a hard no. Like uh, they can like you, but not trust you. And so your content is very, very important to build your authenticity and to get your audience to know you, like you, and trust you. And again, I already mentioned that authority and credibility. Your content should also talk and let people know that you know what you're talking about. Let people know what you've done. Let people know you know, how passionate you are about helping others and things like that. Uh, building that KLT is, is really, really important. And then when you say like, hey, this product costs a lot, but look at what it does for you and look how valuable this is. And I know it's a big investment right now, but then your leads are gonna be filing in the door. It's gonna make your audience know, like, and trust you Again, organic marketing, it takes a little bit more time than just dumping your links in front of everybody that you come across. But what you get with that over time, when your audience knows you, likes you, and trusts you, when your audience buys from you multiple times, when your audience refers you to other people with the same type of problems that they once had that you helped them solve, it's very, very powerful, and it adds something we talk about all the time, lifetime value to your audience, where leads are recurring leads. They're a loyal, loyal audience that loves you, that you have a great relationship with, that will buy from you time after time after time. That's the ultimate goal. One place you can go is to thinking of your product you can go to places like groups or forums where similar competitors are selling the same thing. And you can look at who's the, the people in there with maybe the most pain that they're looking for a solution for that your product solves. And you can start building relationships with them. Say, hey, I noticed we're in the same group. And you do have to be careful going to others, other groups and forums called buyers groups or gurus groups or different things like that. Because you can make some enemies with the owners of those groups. You don't want to be spammy. You don't want to be salesman-y. Um, you want to go in and be a valuable member of those groups be of value to other members in that group and build relationships get them curious maybe invite them over to your group as well or invite them to your profile i would i would be the way i do i did this when i started out was i would go to the group i'd make a few relationships i would send them friend requests and then i would really start talking to them from my profile rather than from the group and I would usually refer um, to different uh, likenesses that we had other than, hey, I see you're a member of this group. Let's be friends. I would be like, hey, I see you're into coaching or I see you're into football or whatever it might be. Something that I've got in common with that person. Hey, I saw that you asked a really great question about organic leads and I really liked that the you know the authenticity and the vulnerability and I think you know it would be cool to be friends and we could help each other find good solutions to that I do stuff like that going to other audiences you can go to audiences of other friends or other gurus or wherever look at their friend list and maybe find a few friends in their friend list that you can request as friends as well to pull into yours. Referrals and testimonials are 
really great ways. Once you start having some results, asking every person that you work with um, that you've gotten results with to write out a referral, to write a re testimonial, asking for referrals rather. Who do you think was in the same shoes as you that would really benefit from working with me? Uh, would you refer them to me? Um, asking things like that and posting things like that, testimonials saying like, okay, so so-and-so worked with me. They felt like this. I helped them get to this. They put in the work and boom, look at their results. That social proof is what that's called. And it's very, very powerful to have. Hand raisers is another thing. These are simply people that are engaged. They're the ones that throw the likes and the hearts and everything up. They are the ones that do comments. They're the ones that ask questions. These are the people that are like action people. And these are the ones that you want as your leads. So again, build relationships with them. Uh, say, hey, I loved that comment that you put on this post. Uh, it was really cool. I really appreciated it. Would you mind if I send you a friend request or send them the friend request and, you know, make a couple of comments and let them know why you're sending it. And pretty soon they're in your audience as well. The big trick to this, though, is it's all about relationships. You can't just send the friend request, make the link, get them in your audience and then treat them like they're a potential prospect. That's very inauthentic and it comes across very spammy. You have to be authentic and you have to build that relationship. Again, it's all about the no like and trust factor. And that's really, really the truth. You have to have that authenticity. You have to have that credibility over time. Not like, hey, now you're my friend, check out my link and buy this and see what it does for you. Like people aren't interested in that, but if they know you and they like you and they value your opinion and they go like, this guy knows what he's talking about. This person knows their expertise in this. They've got something that I don't have. It's very interesting. I'm compelled. Uh, that's what gets the relationship to move them into the buyer phase of being part of your audience. Keyword research is very important too. Uh, literally going into like say Facebook, for example, and researching people like you before you had that product and how it helped you. People with those problems. What are the key words that describe those people that they would put into their Facebook profile that they would describe themselves as? Um, things like coaches, things like affiliate marketers, things like uh, uh, entrepreneurs looking up those type of research. Also going to people's ads. This is a tricky one, but there are leads in people's ads. There are leads everywhere. Again, the trick is building the relationship. You have to have the patience. You got to have the skills. You got to have the authenticity. That's the real secret to leads. Otherwise, it's just numbers and you can just pitch to everybody you come across, but it's only going to be like one buyer out of a thousand at that point in time. Whether this way, building the relationships, one of my mentors talks about one out of every six people in his group. So you can really see who builds relationships well by the quality of their leads. If you focus on building good relationships then you're going to be uber successful. And again, relevant content. I kind of went over that before talking about value of content, relevant content, um, talking to the avatar, talking to them and making the content relevant, helping them understand that you know what you're talking about, but it has to be relevant to them. Uh, that's one of the things that we really cover. And then seeing who's making the comments, who's liking it. Um, this also works for you 
when you're going on to other people's groups and other people's pages is making comments that are relevant to those people's posts and liking, not just liking, but this should be hearts, not likes, but loving people's content and making relevant comments because that's what draws people. It helps people discover that you understand what they're talking about, that it resonates with you. The more you resonate with your audience, the more they're going to resonate with you. And that's really the key to building great relationships and getting into that no like and trust factor. So that's really it that I've got for lead generation today. Uh, good luck. If you've got questions or concerns about leads or you're still really struggling or you just want to know a little bit more secret sauce around the lead generation bit, I have got a really incredible low ticket course that one of my mentors put out that's all about leads. It's like ultimate lead flow or something like that and uh, it is unbelievable he goes into some unbelievably high value of deep detail going into how to get lead generation and i can get that across to you just send me a message mention that that's something that you're interested in i'll get the information over to you and um other than that best of luck and i will see you in the group